Hi there, Pisces, and welcome back to Star Lord is Tarot. This is your tarot forecast for the week of May the 9th through to the 15th. I went ahead, shuffled cards, laid them all out. Let's see what's going on for Pisces. First up, we have the King of Cups in the upright, followed then by Major Arcana of the World in the upright. Next, we have Major Arcana Justice in the upright. Next, we have Major Arcana of the Fool in the upright. And lastly, the Seven of Cups. All of your cards are in the upright and you have three Major Arcana. You've got the heavy hitters here. Interesting reading. Pisces, what's going on? Leave a comment in the comment section below if you know what's going on in this reading because... Inquiry minds want to know. It looks like an intense week for my Pisces. This is your reading. The King of Cups in the upright position for your central energy. This is you coming up in your own reading in the upright position. You are on the right path. Pisces, do not doubt yourself. And <laughs> The King of Cups is a court card. Could be representing a person. If it's representing a person, it's water energy. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, like yourself. Sun, moon, or rising, male or female. Now, this could definitely be you. It is your energy, after all. King of Cups in the upright position. It's, I like the King of Cups and the Queen of Cups when they're in the upright position because they are emotionally stable. They have processed the emotions. They know how to process the emotions. And they're good people to talk to about emotional matters. So it could be for some of you. This could be a, a person in your life who's like the King of Cups, who's got that emotional maturity and someone you can count on. They could be the sort of strong, silent type, that, but you know how much their love and emotion just oozes out of them, even though that he's a little bit different than the Queen of Cups. The Queen of Cups is more likely to express her emotions, whereas the King of Cups doesn't necessarily do so, but it's there. It's there in full force. So... This could be somebody you're dealing with, but this is definitely your own energy and you're coming up in the upright position. You are on the right path and what a path it is. <laughs> right at the beginning of the week, there's no chance for, you know, to slide into this week, you know, slowly and calmly. You're coming in with a bang. The The world is here in the upright position. I call it the um, my graduation card. This could be where we are graduating from one level to another. But this is a heavy hitter. This is a big, this is the last card in the uh, in the tarot deck, right? This is the, the, the card that sort of ends a cycle of something. And it's a major cycle. So for some of you, you could be looking at retiring this week. Others of you, perhaps you just graduated and you're about to go into the big bad work work world <laughs> it's not bad it's it's exciting when you're first entering it it's probably around mid career that it gets a little bit oh okay this is getting a little old <laughs> but it's very exciting when we're first entering it but this is about closing out a cycle so that's why i call it the graduation card because when although we may be moving into you know a new world of our career or our, our jobs or wherever we're moving into we're leaving behind something and that's all of our years in school so this is all the people that we've got to know and our, our our routines and everything it's all coming to an end so that's what the world is all about it's about a wrap-up so this can happen when people um, graduate from school obviously but it can also happen when people retire from a long-standing career and sometimes people have a career and they're not going to full-on retire but they're um, they're retiring from that particular career and they're moving into another one so it just depends on your situation remember these are general reads so whatever uh, suits your situation, you know, it applies in that respect. Others of you, it could be about even a home. Say you're thinking about downsizing, selling your existing home where you raised your family and moving into something, you know, a little bit more compact or more affordable or something like that. Sometimes this can be about closing out a cycle where we don't want to live in the home or the town that we even grew up in anymore. Maybe you're thinking about selling the home and moving to another place altogether. Um, 
the world can come up when a long-standing relationship comes to its natural end. This is not something that would come out of the blue. This would be something where perhaps the divorce papers are now being signed and it's like, okay, it's officially done. That's behind me. Now I'm moving on into something new. The next card you have is the Libra energy, justice in the upright position. Well, this is good. Justice can come up when it, it's dealing with poetic justice. It can be about karma. It can be about you witnessing karmas coming full circle. It can also come up for those of you who are actually dealing with a legal situation in the courts. There could be a cycle that's coming to an end. Maybe for some of you, a long-standing court case is coming to an end and justice will finally be done in that situation. For others of you, uh, this could be about an arbitration, could be something that's going on at work, and you finally, you know, maybe there was an injustice done, and finally, justice, the, the wrongs are being righted now in this situation. Wow, pretty heavy, pretty heavy start to the week, but it's all good because what's coming up next, we have the Major account of the Fool. The beginning, the new beginning, the fool's journey. It's so interesting, Pisces, because of what's going on with you guys astrologically. You, most of you saw the video I did about Pisces and the final descent and how you came out. Jupiter is now, you know, taking you on a new path. And this reading is really reiterating that because the the fool is about the ending of a journey and or the the sorry, the world is about ending a journey. The fool is about beginning a new one. So how appropriate. I love that. Here's the ending. Here's the new beginning. Uh, this is about taking a leap of faith for some of you. It's about a new relationship. It could be, you know, starting up and you're like, wow, I can't believe it. After so long, I can't believe I'm jumping into this relationship. It could be exciting, it could be fun. You could be uh, dating somebody that you've never dated somebody like this before. This person is completely different, but you're taking that leap of faith. You're just jumping right in. Could be like, oh, I've never tried to do this as a career before, but I'm taking that leap of faith. I'm jumping in. Um, could be a new hobby for some of you. You're like, wow, I'm finally free. There's freedom here. There's definitely freedom here right at the beginning of the week with justice and the world here. Freedom is yours for the taking and it's all about starting anew with full confidence. Look at the beautiful yellow solar plexus activation here, Pisces. You're confident about where it is you're going, whether it's you're moving to a new place some of you could be moving to a new home, you could be moving to a new town, you could be moving to a new country even. You're ready to start fresh and to start new. Because why? You know that there's lots of opportunities. Look at your last card here, Pisces. Very Neptunian energy, by the way. Seven of Cups in the upright position. This is all about having so many options, so many opportunities. The world is open for you now. Pisces and you're ready to jump into one of these see the world is here for you to open up it's opening up new opportunities for you Pisces isn't this beautiful this is like the best Pisces reading yet it's wonderful and I love it when the fool and the world come up this is perfect this is perfect it's an ending and a new beginning for you. And there's lots of options, lots of opportunities for you to find happiness. Remember, the Seven of Cups is still cups. This is about emotional happiness and fulfillment and excitement. So remember one thing with the Seven of Cups is that while you're going through all these options and all these opportunities, that because your world is opening up again now in a brand new way and you have to go through the the seven of cups with a fine tooth comb only because of the fact that um you know not all of the options or opportunities that are being presented to you are realistic some of them are pie in the, the sky opportunities others are real gems so you really need to go through it it's neptunian energy so there could be a level of confusion there you really need to sift through that but boy, do you have a wonderful week coming up, Pisces. I don't say that very often to any of the signs, but that was one of the most spectacular reading. Definitely I've had for Pisces in a long time. 
probably the most spectacular and clear-cut reading I've had for any sign in a long time. And you, my dear Pisces, happen to be the wonderful recipients of it. So I don't even know what to say. I definitely leave a comment in the comment section below if this resonated for you. Or even Pisces, you're very psychic. If you feel or sense that it will be a part of your life next week, please do leave a comment. I want to hear from you. We all want to hear from you. <laughs> So uh, have yourself a wonderful week. It looks like you will. Um, can't wait to hear from you guys. Thank you so much for joining me. And um, uh, I hope the reading helped. If it did, please feel free to like, share, and subscribe. And I will see you again next week. Much love. Bye-bye for now.